Step 11. Installing the front enclosure. There are all kinds of different door sizes and buildings. Please consult your assembly instructions for your particular front enclosure and for various parts used to put together what you've ordered. The principles are the same as the building we're working on here, so let's go ahead and see how this one is done. Installing the front base rails. Join the base rail connections along with the various lengths of 2 inch by 2 inch tube together with the L brackets that transition back to 2 inch by 3 inch that are going to be the vertical uprights for your garage door opening. Consult your instruction manual for where you requested your door openings and assemble the base rail as called for. Mark the location of where the base rails and the openings should go on your concrete. Put your concrete expansion anchors in the concrete, but don't tighten the nuts up all the way just yet. Insert your uprights and attach them at the inside top like you did on the back enclosure. In this building, two of the uprights are going to be made of 2 inch by 3 inch tube. There are the verticals for your garage door opening, and those will slip onto the pins of the L brackets. Attach each end of the front base rail assembly to the side base rail pins with the flat angle brackets just like you did on the back enclosure. Assemble the door header as shown on the illustration. By the way, even though Absolute Steel is America's easiest to assemble building system, we can't guarantee that the parts in your kit will jump out to you when you need them, like that bracket just did. Fasten them to the door jams with the flat angle brackets. Set the height of the header to clear the height of the garage door you wanted in your building. In this case, we're installing a standard two-car garage door, which is 16 feet wide by 7 feet high, so we'll make sure we have 7 feet of clearance. Now install the vertical header brace above the door header as illustrated in your instructions. With this building, we're going right up under the peak and down to the center of the door header. Fix it with two flat angle brackets on each side of the vertical header brace. And one flat bracket on the inside of the peak. You'll probably find it easier to install all the flat and flat angle brackets to the vertical header brace while it's on the ground, not like we're doing here. <laughs> 